Now the four and five axis uh, enhancements, uh, we already mentioned the four axis drilling along a curve. Uh, we also enhanced uh, five axis, index five axis uh, output, how we uh, handle and output the uh, rotation angles in five axis. So now we handle the output of the second alternative solution angles and then also uh, as well in uh, five axis when you're reorienting the Z axis. And we'll show you that as well. Now here, uh, the two five axis enhancements I just mentioned uh, on the left, um, we're outputting, if you look down here at the arrow, we're outputting the uh, alternate uh, way of getting to that orientation. Previously, we only output uh, the one angle and now we can uh, output the alternate angles as well. And you can use these uh, primarily, you would probably use these in uh, post-processing or our programmable post. If, if I can jump in here, Don. Sure. Uh, so basically in five axis for any orientation of the tool, you have two possible solutions for the five axis uh, angles of these, uh, you know, rotary angles on the machine. Uh, so previously the system was actually computing both angles, but um, uh, was uh, actually outputting only the angles that the system thought was the appropriate angle. Uh, it was based on the previous positions of the machine tool. And in some cases that got us into trouble uh, because users want, wanted us to be uh, using the alternate solutions. So what we have done in this release is actually output both the angles so and allow the user to select which angles uh, they want to be output, uh, they, they want to be posting. So that's what we're showing here. And then the second um, enhancement is, if you notice, if you look at the coordinate system and the graphic, uh, the Z axis is pointing up in both cases, but if you'll notice the X and the Y axes are different. So the X and the Y were actually rotated about the Z axis. In 2022, we ignored uh, the orientation of the X and the Y, and we only looked at the Z axis uh, orientation and computed the angles. But now we are also looking at the X and the Y orientations. And you can see the angle computations are different in case one as opposed to case two. So the, that's the change we've made, so. And here, um, you can talk about just Joe if you want, but we'll just display the um, different setup. Yeah, you can just bring up the toolpath editor and we can talk about the angles. Uh, uh, just select the setup. Yeah, we saw this early on, and uh, if you notice the rotation axis now, uh, is the P axis stands for primary axis. We are outputting both the zero, which is the primary angle, or the first solution, and the 180 is the second solution, the alternative solution, if you will. And then the secondary axis, which is denoted by S axis here, uh, is zero and then the uh, zero is again uh, the secondary solution. Let's look at uh, the next so setup. Yeah, you know, if you look at the next setup, here it's basically the z-axis is still pointing up, but we have rotated the x and the y-axis uh, to be pointing by 90 degrees, I believe. So if you can look at that, the primary axis, yes, that's computed as 90 degrees, that's the first solution, and the secondary axis first solution is zero, and the second solution is 270 and then zero because we're, we don't have any other rotation except by Z. So the second X, secondary X is always zero. So, so we're outputting both of these now and that can be used in the post uh, as a variable. The, these are being output as variables and can be used in the post. Uh, same thing with the other one. Uh, if, as you can see, uh, primary axis is now 180 and then uh, secondary zero still because we're still up in the, uh, the normal or standard setup, so. 